Good evening. My name is Linda Lawrence, and I'm going to be the 2014 president of Artis del Norte. Artis del Norte is a fabulous little art group. Shouldn't say little, we have several members. But we have been meeting now for over 40 years. And at present, we meet March through October at Banfield Lock Center for the Arts in Fridley. We meet on the thir third Tuesday, the last Tuesday of each month from 7 until 9 p.m. Um, this evening, I'm going to interview Michelle Posh, who is a fabulous artist, and I'm hoping that we can ask many, many questions and get an insight to exactly what she does. So Michelle, it's nice to see you here. Thank I you. see you at the meetings, but it's nice to see you here. Thank you. And I see you have this fabulous piece. I love the composition, love the, the grays, the tonal values in this. So tell me how you got started. Well, as an artist, I always wanted to watercolor paint. Mm -hmm. And after many years of wanting to and not, <laughs> my husband got tired of listening to me whine and got me some paints. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. And so I know I, how that goes. <laughs> yeah, started painting, and I just... Uh, started looking at magazines and other artists' things, and that's uh, where I came up with this. My mom, I had just done a owl for my mom, oh. and it turned out pretty well, and so I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna try this. I love yeah. the way you look into the woods, and. I know, it's quite, the depth is right. very nice here. Yeah. yeah, very soft. So, you saw the, pe you saw the woods right. and the owl, which is very popular right now, as right. you know. I mean, everybody's painting owls. But this was done, what, several months ago? ago? Yeah, a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. But the bark on the trees, how did you do that? It's I mean, what was the technique? It was dry painting, just uh -huh. um, kind of scraped across. Yep. Did you use the credit card or did you... Um, I think I used a palette knife. Palette yeah. knife. Yeah. See, my husband loves it when I use the credit cards. Yeah. Because then I can't use them to go out and buy anything. But <laughs> so okay, now you've got all those little speckles. There are several layers of speckles. <laughs> <laughs> several layers. I okay. Did some a little bit wetter than others mm -hmm. and. Um, kind of dried as it as it went along, and then I'd do some more, and they just turned out. And I did a little research on how to do that. I haven't had any formal training. I've taken a few classes, but good. So, yeah, I did a little research on how to do that. Have you um, been in any shows? I have. I was have three paintings that were in last spring's show. Uh huh. Yeah, and that was kind of fun. It good. Was nice to. You know, just get your art out there for people I know, to see. I know. Yeah. People, that's what we like to encourage for, you know. Yeah. Family always says they love it. Oh, they love it. Well, yeah. of course. <laughs> yes, they, they wouldn't and they say better. anything else. But, um, <laughs> but no, this, this is truly, it, it looks fabulous up close. Thank you. And it looks absolutely amazing when we walked in the door and I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh. I thought it was pen and ink at first. I really did. Oh, thank you. But it's, it is absolutely marvelous. Now, not only do you enter the shows, mm -hmm. but you are in the rotating art program also. Yes. Um, how does that go for you? Do you like that? Do you like doing that? Actually, I do. I, um, I kind of decided to do that because I wanted to force myself a little bit to, to paint because I have a hard time setting aside that time uh -huh. to paint and I thought, well, that would be a good way of doing that. And there's no pressure to really, you know, have so many paintings. It's just, you know, whatever paintings you can put in and, and rotate to other, other businesses. It's Have you I, sold anything? I have. There. I have. See, it pays off, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good for you. Good for Thanks. you. So, what what do you want to what where where would you like to um, see 
the art group go? Which direction would you? Um, what would you like to see? You know, the board make for the do for the coming year to mm -hmm. to expand the interests of the art group. Um, well, I think they should continue to do the demonstrations. Mm -hmm. um, we see so many different artists and different techniques and different mediums. Yeah, and that's always just interesting and. You know, you see innovative ways of doing things that you would never even thought you would be uh, doing. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that's, uh, it gives you inspiration, it gives you excitement, and you kind of need that. Yeah. Well, artists don't all take, um, when we meet, we have uh, professional demonstration artists mm -hmm. come. They can be potters, yeah. um, like Mark w yeah. was, Look what we learned there. Yeah. You didn't have to put a pot on a wheel to make something fabulous. He does it with flat pieces of clay, and, and it's amazing. Um, then we've seen um, oil painters come mm -hmm. and dab paint on a piece of canvas. Mm -hmm. And it's just wildest that we wanted to go home and get out yeah. the oil paints. Or just do it with a palette knife uh, and uh, yes, not a even palette a brush. Knife. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah awesome. it, it's it's crazy yeah. the way they do it. But they're very talented. Mm -hmm. And our group of artists that we have in our fifty member plus group, that we what acrylic, pastel, oil, photography, photography, watercolor. torn paper, watercolors. Do you do any of these other sub, you know, mediums? Do you work in any other medium well, other, I, than the, other than yeah. the beautiful watercolor? I have done some cr acrylic, and I have done, well, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love watercolor. I just love the movement of it. And, uh -huh. um, I'm not totally proficient in it. There's so much more to learn, so. I, oh, I know, I know. know. Even I, I've been doing it for many years, but. You go to um, a workshop, which of course I want to talk about later because Artist Donate has um, going to sponsor um, some fabulous workshops in 2014. And as a member, you get uh, to come to these uh, workshops with um, a, at a lesser price than mm -hmm. what a non-member would. And we've got a fabulous lineup. Um, you know, for that. But um, when you, all our members are so friendly yeah. that when we do a critique or we bring a piece of art in for um, the artist of the month, um, little gift thing that we do, there again, you, you can ask them, you know, yeah. how in the world did you do that? How, and they'll tell you. Or you they, can bring a piece in and they'll you know, say, yeah. something's wrong with this piece, I need some help. Right. And, and well, everybody will look at it yeah. and, and help you. give, yes. Yeah, give some and advice. then normally when you ask those <laughs> questions, you can go home and you can fix it to make it that really special, fabulous piece. Right. So, but, uh, but no, we've got, oh, who would you, I, well, we've got Nancy Carney that's coming, and she's going to do, I think hers is in oil, an oil pastel. But she's going to do a fabulous uh, thing, I think, in June or July. Mm -hmm. No, June. And then we have a fabulous watercolor artist, Jennifer Stone, is going to come in from the Dakotas. She lives, I can't remember which one, but uh, she's going to come in and teach a two-day workshop for us. Awesome. So, that will be, be one exciting. that you really need to yeah. sign up and go to because that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Linda Kemp, she is a Canadian artist and she's coming, um, oh gosh, when is she coming? April. Yeah, she's coming in April. And she's going to, she's, like I said, she's a watercolor artist, but she's going to be teaching um, the two day workshop on, on acrylics. But you can, mm -hmm. you know, adapt right. acrylics to 
become more like the watercolor medium. Right. So, but by just using more water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but so cool. um, Michelle, we have a second piece of yours up here now. Um, this is more, you can tell this is more watercolor. watercolor. The colors are exquisite. Um, the water is beautifully done. I like the, the trees and the rocks. Very nicely, yeah. very nice composition. Yeah, I like that very much, very nice. The framing is, wow, beautiful. So tell me about this piece. <laughs> Well, I'm basically a ranger from up north, so uh -huh. I like the woods <laughs> and the water, and um, this is kind of off of our cabin, uh -huh. and I pretty much didn't know what I was doing. I just knew I wanted to get the water and the moon, <laughs> so I just kind of did the best I could. <laughs> oh, no, it's nice, and I like the way you, you've got the the curve of yeah, the reflection. Yeah, it's kind of a big watercolor that's uh, a big watermark that's <laughs> in there. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it's one of those happy accidents. Happy accidents. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't really see it, although now you've yeah. said it, I think I can see it. <laughs> Nobody oh, really well. would notice it, I don't think. No, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Thanks. Those watermarks, when you do that, yes. Happy accidents. Yes, they are happy accidents. <laughs> Everything in watercolor is a happy accident. Right. That's very true. Now, is this um, has this been in a show at all? Um, I don't think so. I can't remember if it was in the last show or not. I don't think it was. I don't think so. I don't think I've seen this one before. Was. No. Is it? Um, I, I mean, do you have this piece on a rotating art? Yeah, yeah, it's been at a few of the different art um, places, clients. Uh -huh. So tell me, how the, the white, is this the white of the paper or did you put some gouache in there or white uh, watercolor? It's masked. It I is masked. masked? Yeah, masked. Wow. Um, the rocks back there uh -huh. and the trees, that wasn't masked. That was, um, I used a credit card with that and scraped it. Uh huh. The moon was, uh, I think I just took a paper towel <laughs> and kind of dug it out. Oh, yeah. yeah, lifted it. Lifted it, yeah. Yep, very nice. Um, yeah. I've heard, I haven't done that, but I've heard that you can use, um, it's like an Alka-Seltzer. Is Alka-Seltzer white? Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, just put it on a piece of wet paint uh -huh. and it will do that because you have to have a great big alka salsa to make that size moon, but but uh, no, I like the way it. You've got the great, uh, you've got the you know the crucible mm -hmm. going across and the coming down. I like it very much indeed. I like the way you put the tone tones of the deeper lake in the middle there. The reflection of those trees with the greens, very nice, very nice indeed. Well, you do some fabulous work. You oh. really do. You do some marvelous, marvelous artwork. And I hope you will uh, continue to stay with uh, Artist Del Norte. Yeah, <laughs> plan to. I'd, oh, good, good. <laughs> plan to. Yes, yes. So, um, we've got a holiday party coming up. Yeah. And I hope you will uh, yeah, plan be at to be that there. too. Yeah. We'll have some fun there. Yeah. Um, we have a, a holiday party, of course, every year, um, and it's uh, usually held locally. Uh, I think it's over at Bunker. It's not Bunker Hills anymore. It's the something Harvest else. Grill. Harvest Grill. Yeah. yeah. And we do that in January, and everybody comes to that, and we just have an absolute blast. And um, we talk about the coming year and what we're going to do and what plans we have and. So yeah, we should have some, we'll have a good time with that. But I want to get back to um, the rotating art program. Mm -hmm. And we, get, we extend yeah. this to our community. Yeah. To have original artwork on the walls. 
and in offices or right. work, dental offices, banks, insurance offices. And it's good artwork. It's it not is. It's not lousy. No, it's, it's not, not lousy. No, That's it's right. not lousy artwork. It's nicely framed, nicely matted, beautiful pieces. And um, I know uh, I'll probably be talking to uh, Raynell sometime or other um, about how that's all going, how that's working for next year and everything mm -hmm. else. So that'll be kind of a, a good topic, you know. Um, I think that's that's probably about all I, you know, have to say. Can you think of anything that you want to ask me? Is there? I just want to say that I I am just so glad to be in this program. It has made me grow. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that people should know that you know you need that that growth in your artwork yes, and in you your person. Yes. And this really does help that. I know. So yeah. Yeah. It validates that you're a good artist and I think I needed that and um, just to be have my artwork with everyone else that's in this program is just awesome because <laughs> <laughs> there's some really good artists. There are. Yeah, yeah we do have some very talented people out yeah, there, don't very we? Very talented, yeah. yeah. And then when we hold um, we just did the Northern Showcase and the a lot of our members were in that. Mm -hmm. And there were a few, you know, that came that weren't in weren't members of our, our of artists don't alter. Mm -hmm. But the talent yeah. that was out there, I mean, it was crazy. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And to think they're all local, you know? This and is it, what's so fun. I've taken quite a few classes, not quite a few. I've taken some classes from different artists in Good. Artist Del Norte, and you and um, Tom Dimmock and Sandra Lee, and you know, it's it's been, and we're all different, aren't we? Yes, all of you are very different. And it's it's just been a real well-rounded <laughs> experience. I know, I just I just uh. took an, uh, an art uh, a workshop with uh, Shireen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was, how do you do that, Shireen? <laughs> Bless her heart, yeah. she goes, oh, you know, sandpaper, and <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. yes, I know, in a Time magazine. Who would know? <laughs> Who would know? Who would know? But um, no, it, it, you have to grow. Yeah. And the way to grow is to belong to an art group yeah. and, and learn and absorb everything you can. Yeah. That's the place to do it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Thank you. No, thank I've you. Really, I've really enjoyed talking to you this evening. It's been fun. Thanks. It's been fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. But now back to Artist Del Norte. It is a fun and amazing art group that has been going on for over 40 years. We have a great, varied group of artists, all mediums. And they're very talented and they're very, very willing to share their techniques. We have two art shows. One which is in, us in the spring, uh, April, which is the spring member show. This year, for 2014, we're going to be doing the Wild West as our theme. Start thinking of <laughs> what you're going to do. Um, in the fall, we do the um, Northern Showcase, which is an open, mem it's an open show for anybody to, uh, to participate and that's at the Blaine Center, Blaine City Hall. City, City Center. City Center, okay. Um, just up on 109th there. Um, we have a holiday brunch, which is always held in, ja in January. And we have meetings March through October, last Tuesday of the month from seven until nine. I've really enjoyed over the years being part of Artitil Norte. I have um, held several positions and I'm excited about being the president for 2014 and all our workshops that we have lined up. 
I think it's going to be an absolutely fabulous year. So if there's any artists out there that's watching this evening, come get on your computer, just type in artistdelnorte.org, check out the website and get to know us. Thank you very much. <laughs>